What's up everybody? We're going to start a new paper and we're going to look at City of London School for Girls and we're looking at question 42 here. It says Jess and Jill share some sweets and Jill has six sweets for every five sweets Jez has. Jill gives eight sweets to Jez. Now Jill has four sweets fewer, four sweets, sorry, for every seven sweets Jez has. And question is, how many sweets do the girls have all together? Okay, so quite a challenging question. Why is it challenging? Well, we've got something what we call the before and after situation. And so at first, the girls have a certain amount and then something happens. So in this case... Jill gives eight sweets to Jez. And then what happens? Jill has four sweets for every seven sweets as a result. And so to kind of replicate this, it's quite hard to imagine. And so what we do really well at the Singapore Maths Academy is we use visual representations. So I'm going to draw a bar to represent Jill and Jez's sweets. So let's start off with Jill has six sweets for every five sweets Jez has. So let's try to represent that. We've got Jill here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a bar to represent this. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to replicate this line using my bar modeling skills. So I've got one bar, as you can see. But it says Jill has six sweets for every five sweets Jez has. So let me try to do Jill has six sweets for every five sweets Jez has. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have Jez here. And I'm going to try to represent how many sweets Jez has from that first line. So I'm going to do this. Replicate. So this is the challenging part. Jill gives eight sweets to Jez. Now, we know she gives eight sweets, but we don't know how many sweets that is in terms of the box that we can see, the bars that we can see, right? We don't know if one bar is eight, but we do know that when she gives eight sweets, something happens. Jill has four sweets for every seven sweets that Jez has. So Jill has four sweets for every seven sweets that Jez has. So that's a bit more tricky, right? But what I can see is that Jez has got five sweets. And in fact, if I take this one bar here and I drag it to Jez and I drag another bar to Jez I've given two bars to Jez and now because I've given those two bars to Jez what I can see actually is that Jez has what does she have one two three four five six she's got seven sweets or seven bars that represent the sweets right and Jill has four and that's exactly what it says in the next line so by moving these two bars now we have four sweets for Jill and seven sweets for Jez and therefore those two bars must represent the eight sweets Jill gave eight sweets to Jez and now Jez has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts to Jill's four parts, exactly what it says here. So therefore, these two bars that I passed over from Jill to Jez must be eight. And therefore, each bar must be four. And the question is, how many sweets do the girls have all together? That's all of this. So all of this, that's four plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus seven is 11. That's 11 parts. And so it's going to be 11 times each of the parts are 4. 11 times 4, they have 44 sweets altogether. Now let's see if that works because you know, it's good that we go for the, the, the kind of solution and the answer with you. But what we want to do is more than that. We want to show you that if each of these parts are 4, and I'll write that down for you, then does it make sense when we talk about the question from the beginning. So I know that this would be here when we started off. And I know that we've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six parts here. And we've got one, two, three, four, five parts there. And so Jill has six parts to every five parts that Jez has. And so when she gives eight sweets, oops, there we go. When she gives eight sweets to Jez, now she's got four parts and Jez has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly how, does, how the question describes. And so this approach is called the bar modeling approach where very much a specialist company doing this. Not many have the experience or the knowledge of the bar model approach as, as much as we have. And um, we train all our teachers to make sure everyone has this type of knowledge as well. So if you're interested in any other videos, please do follow us. We have a lot of videos coming up looking at different 11 plus types of questions. And so we would love to be able to help you on your journey. Hopefully we'll see you in our next video.